Uh, we just real quick, Gabe Jackson's out of the game, and uh, Dwayne Harris is definitely out of the game. Uh, we have a number of players that we're still evaluating. Jordan Devy's questionable uh, with a quad, a groin, uh, I should say a groin. Uh, Trent Wood, uh, Brown is still questionable. We expect them to play, but we have to list them as questionable. Uh, we have a number of other guys that are on the list, but uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions I can. Clear candidates to return kicks. Jalen Richard, Josh Jacobs, uh, Trevor Davis, among the others. Those will be the primary guys. How has Trevor uh, integrated himself with, with the second week into offense? Better. You know, better. He really didn't get here till Friday last week, so he's really had two or three full practices. So we're hoping to get him up and use him not only in special teams, but on offense. We, we need some help there. How are your uh, linebackers doing this week? Uh, still sketchy, but I am encouraged. Perfect practice looked better today. Morrow practiced. Um, so we are encouraged by that. Obviously, Markel Lee's on injured reserve, and we'll make a decision uh, on Corey Legit. Do we bring him up? Uh, do we have five linebackers or four, eight defensive linemen or nine, five receivers or four? There's a lot of uh, things that are going to impact the active day, game day roster. Uh, will Markel be in a situation where he may be brought back later? We hope so. Yes, we hope so. With, uh, with Corey Legion, has it taken him a bit longer, maybe for different reasons, to get active than you would have liked? Well, he's hope? been hurt. You yeah. know, he's coming off an injury, and obviously no training camp, no off-season program, learning a new defense. you got to be smart. You just don't want to bring the guy and put him out there before he's ready. He's had now two and a half, three weeks to learn the system and get himself ready. And uh, we'll meet with him and the trainers on the airplane, and we'll see where he is. But we surely uh, could use him inside. Back at uh, camp, you said you were looking for the team's identity. Um, have you found that yet? Are you still looking for that, or what are we're you? We're still we're still forming our identity, no doubt. We've had a lot of moving pieces on both sides of the ball and in the return game, so we're still uh, trying to get some continuity at critical positions, while our young players at critical positions are getting some experience and getting better. Uh, remember, a lot of these guys didn't play at all in the preseason, and that's pretty much league wide, but. Um, there are times you, you, I think we're, we're getting, getting there, and then there are times we take a step back. But uh, at the end of the first quarter of the season, it's time for us to step up and put 60 minutes together. John, you're getting ready to get on this 10-day roadie here. What, what changed your thinking from last year for the London trip to you know, making it an entire trip this time? Well, obviously, we're playing in Indianapolis this week. and uh, It's an eight-hour flight, I believe, from London to Indiana or Indianapolis to London. Doesn't make sense flying five hours back to California and then 14 hours to London. That had a lot to do with it. And uh, obviously what we did last year uh, didn't work out on the scoreboard and it didn't uh, give me any reason to not try something else. So uh, we're going to go over there and have a great time and prepare our, our hearts out to uh, hopefully play a good game in London. It's still obviously, but uh, it's, some teams have been had uh, a little bit of success anyway, running against the Colts defense. Is this a game where you really want to try to get Josh a new good rhythm? We'll try. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, we uh, we tried to run last week early in the game. We fell behind 21 to nothing, and it, it's tough. We got to do both. You know, we got to be able to run the ball. Certainly, we're going to make an effort to do it. We got to have some balance to win. And. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. The Colts have given up some runs. They also cause a lot of negative yardage runs. They stunt, and they have some timely blitzes. And uh, they were up 20 to three at halftime last week. So we got a we got a lot of respect for the Colts. I think I realized how dire the the field position thing was until I really looked at it. I mean, one possession on the other side of the field in three games. And I think we had one in two years since I've been here. I mean, it's really been uh, more than anything field position. Uh, I used to sit in meetings as a young coach, and Johnny Majors would talk about nothing but field position. That's the area of hidden yardage, or the winning edge is field position. And um, until we start drives at midfield or on the plus side of the 50, it's going to be hard to go 85, 80 yards every single time. So we got to do a much better job getting turnovers, forcing three and outs, reducing penalties in the kicking game, getting some return yardage. We got to get better field position. Uh, to be a good offensive team. 
Hey Raider Nation, if you like that video, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of our exclusive content, behind the scenes footage and more. Go Raiders.